Let's take a look at how the eCertis search engine can be used by procurement authorities and tenderers. Click onto the search page using the left hand option menu. The search menu appears. Every query starts from here. You can reset a search at any time by clicking on the same search button. Let's start by seeing what document types are available for your query. There are four kinds of document typesets relating to procurement phases or procedures, which you can see listed below. Depending on which option you choose from this list, the document types you can view in the Documents Types list changes accordingly. For instance, all documents in this list relate to certificates required to participate in public procurements. Each document set is provided per country. This allows you to target your search further based on the country you are interested in. Let's try to use the search engine to find a specific document. We are a company in Belgium that wants to take part in a public procurement for the first time. Click on Search. Select Belgium from the Country drop-down menu. We are interested in Certificate Required to Participate in Public Procurements, so we select it from the Document Type Set. Now we want to know what exactly is meant by Evidence of Compliance with Social Security Obligations that is explicitly required in the terms of reference for the participation in the call. We have now narrowed down our search, so go to and click the search button at the bottom of the form. Each document type contains a detailed description of certificates and attestations that may be required in Belgium. On this page you can find out how this document is called in the national language information on how it can be used, details about the content, the validity period, and the URL of the issuing body. For ease of reference and for comparison purposes, a document type has always the same structure for any country and in any evidence area. We can also search for a document by searching for a particular word in the Specific Term field. This can be useful if we do not understand the source language of a document we are reviewing. Let's now insert the word and click on Search. The result list shows that there are two types of document, evidence of absence of conviction for natural persons and evidence of absence of conviction for legal persons. The user may find useful information to understand the document in hand. Let's explore more complex searches and take a look at the comparison capability of the system. Click on the Search button. Suppose a Spanish company wants to respond to an Austrian call for tender. The call requires compliance with quality standards. What type of Spanish statement shall the Spanish company attach to the tender? Go to the Document Typeset field and choose Certificate Required to Participate in Public Procurements. In the Document Type field, select Evidence of Quality Assurance. Select Austria from the left country box and Spain from the right country box. Select English in both language fields. Then click on the search button at the bottom of the form. The resulting screen shows the comparison of two document types, field by field. This allows the user to spot the similarities and differences between equivalent documents in two different countries. This can prove very useful in certain cross-border procurement situations. In our example, the company located in Spain is thus ensured its national certificate will meet the requirements of the Austrian call. Suppose again that we are in a cross-border situation. A French company wants to respond to an Italian call for tender. The company wonders what type of foreign equivalent documents the procurement authorities usually accept. To perform this query, we first select Search in the left menu. We select Certificate Required to Participate in Public Procurements. We leave blank the field Document Type because our search will affect all the document types. We select Italy from the left country box. 
Go to Available Language and choose English. Finally, we select Validity Period in the Document field box. When we click the search button at the bottom of the form, the content of the validity period is listed for all the document types relating to participation in procurement in Italy. From this screen, the company learns about the period of validity of the documents needed to respond to the call. Once you have found a document, you may want to save it on your computer. To do so, go back to the search page. Make sure you've entered the right research criteria, then select the relevant document. At the end of the list, click on the Generate PDF button. The next screen offers you two possibilities. You can either enter your email address in order to receive the document in your mailbox, or generate the PDF directly online. In this case, you can retrieve your document in your download folder.